to Egoholics and this is the video series for research process. Up until now we have covered the five stages of research process and today we are going to understand the stage six and seven of the research process which deals with the data collection, processing and analysis. So first we'll understand the concept and the criteria on fundamentals of the collection of data. Now data can be available anywhere. However, the data that is selectively available, accessible to a researcher for the purpose of only research under the theme of whatever the researcher is aspiring to find out, that data definitely is going to be the most efficient data. Now such type of data can be collected through two ways. Either it can be a primary data or it can be a secondary data. A primary data is that type of a data which is collected first time by a researcher through the collection of uh, information from the sample that the researcher has decided. Now, after making that sample size, the design and everything, the researcher is going out the field and obviously going to collect the data. That can be done through variety of ways. For example, the primary data can be collected through filling the questionnaires, <coughs> filling out the questionnaires or if the data has to be collected it can be conducted through taking interviews or there can be various types of polls that can be um, that can be made so that the <coughs> researcher can understand how will or what are the dimensions of the data the data collection process is a very comprehensive process and which is why the researcher has to definitely uh, be very intellectual into choosing what type of data will be most impact worthy for the purpose of their research. If there is no data available or there is very minimal data available through journals or any other um, pieces of information, sources of information, then definitely the researcher should go for the primary data collection just because the authenticity, the genuineness, the effectiveness will be much high if the researcher goes for collection of the primary data and um, uh, collects such type of piece of information, uh, which is like a hands-on uh, hands process. However, there's also secondary data, which is equally important and can be equally authentic if it has already been collected through the authentic and genuine sources. Let's say if there are certain so certain information which is created or researched about by only some authentic portals or journals or has been collected by let's say news uh, papers or has been collected by some government officials or certain government organizations or private organizations then that particular data also is suitable enough for doing the research however it's most of the time stated that uh, um, the primary data along with secondary data compiled will definitely give the research an edge and effectiveness. Now secondary data of course can be found out by using information from journals and various organizations, statistics from various portals. However, when you go for collection of the data, something which is very peculiar and very important for a researcher to understand is that collection of data, whether it is done from a primary source or a secondary source, always would require the researcher's intellect, which also means common sense. You cannot just start collecting data from all the different sources that are available and accessible because it would just create a major uh, heap of 
data that probably would not be um, either efficient or maybe also discarded later because of its um, inefficiency. So because of that, the researcher has to be very wise to also not just design the sample uh, collection, what, but also design how and what type of data is really required for the research. And which is why this is a very comprehensive process, which just not um, it it does not requires implementation, but also requires a lot of planning. After collection of data, the next stage is what to do with that data. So you process and analyze the data. Data processing and data analyzing is also a very important task and it is not based on a piece of information. It is now the work of intellect of a researcher, the skill of a researcher to find out what exactly the conclusions or the answers of that database really say. After you have collected the data, you, it will go for processing. Now processing also has a variety of stages like when we talk about processing then it has stages like uh, editing, editing of the data, editing is also stated to be data cleaning. Data cleaning basically means that Many a times there's, there's a lot of data that is available that has been collected, but may, there are a few pieces of that, those data which you do not require or that information you do not require. So firstly, we'll process the data. So there'll be uh, processing and tabulation of the data so that it can be identified properly. The researcher systematically is going to um, clusterify or groupify those databases so that it can be easily used by the researcher effectively when they are required and also give it for analyzing later. So they, you firstly clean the data, unnecessary things you will throw away, discard and then of course you will process the data. Now after the processing of the data, the analysis begins. Analysis will begin on the variety of tests that are done on the data. For example, you can just simply start by mean or uh, um, standard deviation or there can be something like regression or even various statistical tests like t-test, z-test, f-test, ANOVA, ANCOVA, variety of tests are there available to um, during the processing of the data. Now of course these will give certain results, there will be results for each of these and more. The analysis does not mean just you write the results in your research thesis. Analysis means that you actually understand what does this amount of standard deviation actually mean? Or what does a t-test result actually mean? How will it impact the hypothesis that you have made? Because simultaneously in the analysis, you will also have to check your hypothesis, the statement that you had made. Is it, is it near to that statement? Is it getting correlated with that statement? Is it rejecting that statement? What things are happening to the hypothesis will be told by the analysis of the research uh, of the collection of the data and which is why you will have to take care as a researcher to not just collect the data but also to process and analyze the data. It's not a piece of cake. It, requ it would require a lot of intellect. It would require a lot of common sense. It would require the knowledge of a variety of statistical tools available and which is why this is a very technical stage of the research process. So these are the sixth and the seventh stages of the research process. For knowing more about the research process and the other stages, stay tuned to Ecoholics, subscribe our channel and like and share our videos. Thank you.